in this new series we're talking about intelligence that you can use on a daily basis and this intelligence is derived from two sources one it's derived from being reflective of what has already happened and that is the past which is very instructive of where we can be able to get information because we were there we lived there and now we are in the present and we can gauge the present the results that we are having in the present by measuring on what we got in the past and then the other intelligence we can get it from projecting about the future the things that are yet to come and without doing these two narratives without oscillating between two, these two extremes life becomes an autopilot mode and the human being was never constructed and meant to live on autopilot the human being was made to apply himself contextually every working day you know and so that's a very unique statement to make and so let us just look at one aspect that we can be able to learn one intelligence today that we can be able to learn either side of today either side of the past i mean either from the past or from the future stay tuned Welcome to the Life Signatures podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So obviously I'm going to belabor this that the human being has been gifted with intelligence and that intelligence also needs to be acquired on a daily basis and like I've said we need to get intelligence so that we can be able to act let me tell you a story a few years back I can't remember the exact year maybe it was in 2013 or in 2012 somewhere thereabouts a group of terrorists stormed into an up 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 market place in Nairobi Kenya called Westgate and uh, they basically laid a siege for nearly a day shooting indiscriminately women children men killing them wantonly and when the dust settled one of the biggest fingers that was pointed was pointed on the intelligence security intelligence of the country that why were they not able the intelligence body of the country why were they not able to detect that there was something amiss you know if they had detected this that situation would have been arrested and will not have people being killed left right and center and when you talk about even in the developed countries the same thing happens every time there is a terrorist attack they will tell you that intelligence was pointing towards this and at times you hear there is a travel advisory against Kenya a travel advisory against Uganda a travel advisory in East Africa or whatever it is because of intelligence and Let's just come back to life and talk about the human being himself you as an individual what kind of intelligence are you using in your life today because the degree of the intelligence and when i talk about intelligence i am not talking about books and academia there is that aspect that but that's not the holy grail of achievement but i'm talking about a different kind of intelligence in life where anyone anyone with regardless of their academic qualifications can have that kind of intelligence and they can use that kind of intelligence to change their lives 
We are not supposed to operate on autopilot as human beings, but we are supposed to operate on intelligence using the contextual intelligence that we have from our lives or from the environment that we have and we change and we apply it into the moment and we become better human beings that's why you know the telephone that we have today is not the same as the one that they used in the 70s you know it's not the same the tv set we have today is not the same as the one they used in the 70s it's changed contextually with input with intelligence that has come and we continue developing and so on but for you as a human being for you as an individual what kind of intelligence can you put together that can help you that can become invaluable and that can help you to grow and to mature and to become better and even to expand the best of your potential that God has put inside of you good better best not let, do not let it rest until the good is better and the better is best i had someone the other day tell me tell say, saying that you need to move from a nobody to a somebody from a somebody to someone who is good from someone who is good to someone who is better from someone who is better to someone who is best and from someone who is best to someone who is great and from someone who is good to someone who is legendary and that can only happen to the degree of the intelligence that you do have in your life and so today the number one intelligence that i want us to discuss is simply this the intelligence of achievement as in you have been alive remember we talked about the past you are in the past you remember that let me tell you a story about me and my past one of the things that stands out to me in my past is this in terms of achievement i was in primary 8 in kenya or maybe primary 7 and 8 right there when this english teacher will come and will give people an opportunity to write creatively everyone else will start jostling for position number 2 because position number 1 had already been occupied by lawrence now that is important intelligence of achievement in my past But the question is what do you do with that intelligence? What do you do with it? What did I do with that intelligence? That's the saddening part. I did absolutely nothing with it for 20 years, 30 years on end. Until such a time that I realized wait a minute, I have a gift in writing. I have a gift in creativity with words. I could use it. That's when I started using it and uh, I've gone through the covid season by the way. Purely being paid from that gift and from that talent that was intelligence that i needed to have acted on earlier intelligence of achievement if you look back in your life and you review it and you see that you are excelling in one thing or another should it tell you something should in that be some kind of intelligence that tells you if you are good at that thing chances are that it is a hint that that's where your life is supposed to be dedicated a big degree of your life is supposed to be dedicated there your life was meant to be productive i mean take a look at the intricacies of your body systems your respiratory nervous reproductive sensory digestive blood circulatory system and so on and so forth why do you think you were made so intricate it is because you have to fulfill a purpose on earth So at a review stance remember we're talking about review in your life at a review stance your question will be looking at where your major achievements for your life over the past several years has been 5 or 10 years what have you really achieved that stood out people really praised you for it people praised you for doing that people wow that the things that you did the things that you achieved Let me ask you a question if you stopped all the traffic today and you asked yourself what are the past achievements can you enumerate five major world class achievements in your life over the past 10 years or maybe over the past 5 years are you able to do that that is a question that you need to answer because that is intelligence that you can use because it tells you that what you are lacking or what you need is already a hint in the past so at a review stance 
your question will be looking to see where these major achievements are. Now, if you cannot find any one of those achievements, that is where the rubber meets the road. If you cannot at any one point in time just easily knock them out like that, it tells you something. It tells you that you are not intentional and you are not visionary at the same time. So it gives you an opportunity. Remember we're talking about looking at the past and also looking at the future. It now gives you an opportunity to look at the future and get some intelligence for the future in terms of achievement. Remember this is the first achievement, this is the first intelligence we're talking about. So you ask yourself, what will be my five or my ten biggest achievements in the next five or in the next ten years? That is intelligence. That is information. Great information that you can gather for today. And you can use to chart the next life or the next course of your life. If you are finding it difficult to answer the question of what was my 10 major achievements in the past 10 years, it means you are not visionary enough. But now you have the benefit of being reflective. Being reflective helps you to become visionary because you can regret all you want or you can draw a line in the sand and you can say, okay, I did not do these things. I did not dream. I did not dream big. But now I'm going to dream big. The next 10 years, number one, I will do this. Number two, my finances will be like this. Number three, my relationships will be like this. Number four, my adventure and my lifestyle is going to be like this. Number five, my business is going to be like this. Number six, and so on. You are looking into the future with the intelligence of achievement. I'm going to be an author. I'm going to be a public speaker. I'm going to be the 10 biggest speakers in my country. Anytime they mention the 10 biggest speakers, I'm going to be in that list. That is being visionary with the intelligence of achievement. And that's why many people call it goal setting. But this intelligence is extremely important that it can become an anchor for your life. You are not an animal or a bird or an some kind of fish that you, you just autopiloting the rest of your life. No. You have some intelligence from the past and intelligence for the future that you're basically gauging your life upon and you're saying, I am going to use achievement as intelligence to change my life. The achievement of the past, can I bank on it? Can I build on it? The hints of achievement of the past, like mine for writing, Instead of going to do biology, physics, and science, and do all those things, power mechanics, and so on, and agriculture, and Christian religious education. Right, Lawrence. That's where your achievement was in the past. And some of you, you have very many achievements. And they're found in your gifts and in your talents. And people have actually praised you for those achievements. But what have you done with that intelligence? What have you done with the intelligence of achievement in your life? If there is no achievement in your life, then the inte intelligence is this, that you need to project it in terms of being visionary for it and set some goals for it. But if there is some kind of intelligence and some hints of intelligence in terms of achievement that you did this and you did that, can you link your moment today to that past and can you build on it and create a foundation for it? Can you contextualize it and make it better? My example, I keep going back to it. Writing. Shouldn't be going to, you know, doing all those subjects that I did. And yet the thing that was standing out in terms of achievement was writing. So the point is, is clear. The first intelligence that you're going to get, it is the intelligence of achievement. Achievement. We were created to achieve, to be productive. Remember that. That's why you have all these intricate body systems for us to be productive. So think about this and tomorrow we're going to talk about something else. Until then, bye-bye.
A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.